In the previous video, we built a very, very heavy booster. It might have weighed somewhere around a thousand tons. And in this video, we're going to be making a better version of that booster. So I'm thinking, let's add more engines, okay? Let's make it even better at landing. And let's take it to space once again. So stay tuned and subscribe for some more. As you look like it is pretty pretty complicated but i'm gonna make it even more complicated because i'm thinking of a way to make this thing like more how i don't know how to say it more realistic i would say so yeah we're gonna we're gonna i'm gonna get rid of this right here i don't like how this is like this so yeah we're gonna get rid of that like i said the whole booster it's gonna get redesigned so we're starting from scratch and my main goal for this is at least equal or more engines than the previous oh no oh that's perfect right there okay and this will be a technique that i've never seen any other kerbal space program youtuber do okay so i'm just gonna say it i might be the first to do this okay i might i might be the first i'm just saying i might be the first so and we're gonna use fl T 800s like this okay and the thing that I'm very excited about is I'm essentially gonna add engines to this well of course I'm gonna add engines to this but I'm gonna add vectors okay just like this and we'll just cover it up make it white boom so this, this is one this is one engine okay now we're just gonna grab it radial mirror boom we have eight so we grab it one more time and then we place it boom now we have 16 and then we just keep doing it and now we should have boom 24 and then grab this one more time there's some overlap but I mean the other the other engine that we built, okay? That other engine. The whole thing was overlapped. So this this is not as bad. There might be some overlap, but it's not that bad. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So right now, this this cluster of 48 engines, okay? This is 16 more than the previous one. So we're gonna have a lot more thrust. And now we just gotta add the fuel lines due to how many clusters there are connected to literally one thing right there. So just gotta hunker this bad boy down. We don't want this thing to be falling apart. This is a lot of engines. I don't think I've seen another rocket in Kerbal Space Program with this many engines like firing at once. Like, of course, there's gonna be other rockets with multiple stages that probably has more than 48 engines because, like, multi stage. But a singular stage with 48 engines, I don't think that's ever been made in Kerbal Space Program. So this in itself right here, this monstrosity that you see, this might be the first of the first. So we are on the runway, as you can see. This thing has not blown up yet. Okay, not blowing up immediately is a good metric to go by, so that's why I keep saying it. And we're not lagging as much, because in the previous build, we lagged way too much. Like, way too much. I think overall that build has like 500 parts, but this one, slightly smaller, but 12 more engines. I mean, 16 more engines. So let's just do a quick test flight and see how well this thing does. So SAS on, RCS. This thing has no RCS, so we're going to leave that off. Let's do, oh, we can't do, let's do radial in. Okay, so let's take off in three, two, one. Let's just do slight throttle. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 radial ends wrong. Radial, radial ends wrong. Oh man, okay, we saw slight overheating. But look, look, as you can see, it works. It works. Look at this. Look, look at all those beautiful engines and the overlap right there is crazy. So I think I might need to trim one of these. I need to remove one of these right here. Oh, this is sick. Look at this. Look at this. This actually looks right. Oh no, it's overheating. Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh no. Okay. So maybe we should fix how much overlap is happening right here. Because these two are literally touching. And we are now a, a missile. Okay, so 
main issue that we saw is these two right here so if i just remove this one it should just make it better yeah that might just be the move i'll just remove that and then i'll just throw a protective shell right there boom we're gonna act like that never existed so now we have what's this eight 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 so that's still five we have 40 engines 40 engines 48 engines because I'm gonna add eight right here or should I add four see eight is too much now they're overlapping like crazy but there's enough room for six. Oh my goodness gracious look at, look at this okay so we're gonna have wait actually let's add one in the middle yes we got to I can't even look up to put this thing on one just one more oh guys <laughs> look at this I can't even look up for it this looks insane look at all these engines oh man this is beautiful this is like engines alone right here this is an engine segment how heavy is this alone engine segment alone 500 tons goodness gracious so this right here it's 500 tons alone. Oh my goodness. This is about to be a really heavy, heavy rocket. Few moments later. How am I lagging in the in the building bay? Oh my goodness, this is not good. If I'm lagging in the building bay, my game's gonna explode. When do we launch it? Oh no. I am not ready to launch this thing. Okay, we are on the runway. And like I was not hoping to happen. We are getting 10 FPS, okay. We haven't even fired the engines yet, so I'm very concerned. Let's do, let's do like five, 10% power. I just saw, I just saw my frames drop to like three. That's not good. Wait, SA is disengage? What? What happened? Did Jebediah get cooked? I think Jebediah just died. Are you, what just happened? You know what's not right that's happening? My frames! It's at 5! I'm getting 5 frames per second! Oh, <laughs> look at this though. This just looks absolutely amazing. But look at this though. Ah, this is sick. This is, this is absolutely cool right here. Okay, we gotta redo this whole thing because... Where did Jebediah go? Who knows? The world may never know. Okay, I think... Let's just put Jebediah right there. We gotta have some redundancy. Because what if Jebediah gets sucked into the engine again? Hopefully he doesn't get sucked into the engine. But I feel, I feel like he got sucked into the engine. So we're gonna have a... Remote guidance unit and Jebediah at the same time. So double redundancy. No crew on part. Like, I swear, Jebediah was in the capsule earlier, before we took off. Either he's getting thrown into the fuel tank, and miraculously turns into a Jebediah-sized part of fuel, or he got eaten by something. I'm just gonna say the latter. He Something ate Jebediah before we got on the launch pad. But that's why we have this guy's unit. So, let's just take off and see if we can land back. Okay, okay, and no, I think my game just exploded. Okay, so we will do a quick, a very quick hop test. So we're gonna go 50 meters, which will be our, let's go 200 meters up, and then we'll just land back down as gently as possible. So, there we go, we're just, and we're gonna keep our landing gears out as well. So we're just gonna climb to an altitude of around 200, should be fine. And we're gonna see if we can land right back on the launch pad. Go out, oh. Oh, it's over, it's over, it's over, my, my, my game's gonna explode. Oh, man. So I don't think that we have enough landing 
gears. We don't have enough landing legs, I mean. That could be the main issue, so I'm gonna just put as many landing legs as possible and see if that actually does anything. Okay, how about something like this? Okay. I think the main issue is that the engines are way too close to the to that, so the engines will touch first. Hmm. And with our 11 frames per second, we are on the runway. With an even stronger, stronger rocket. Okay, we need to do a quick, like, just landing gear test. So, it blew up. Oh, it didn't blow up. Oh, it blew up. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I don't think it's possible. There's no way. It's not possible. It's literally not possible. Oh man. They're also gonna blow up. Yep, there we go. Huh. I think we might need to do a whole a whole redesign. Okay, so with the airstream protective shell off, we can actually see what is happening. So let's quickly retract. Okay. That's set fine. Can we get back up? A very slow process. We absolutely can. Let's do it one more time. So I think we have solved the issue. Our only remaining issue left is landing. Can we actually land this thing? Oh. Okay. Now we can throttle it back down because this should bring us, this should be enough to bring us down under 20. Yep. There we go. And then we're just going to slowly land like a feather. Exactly under 20 right there. 18, 16, 15, and touchdown. Cut power, cut power, cut power, cut power. Oh, I was too late. Please land back down. Don't blow up. Yes, yes, no, 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 stick, 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 yes. Ah, it worked, it worked. Okay. Oh my, oh, this build is just absolutely stressing me to the max, okay? And I didn't even realize how many, oh my, look, look at our first stage segment. Oh no, that's a lot of rockets. But, but it worked, okay? It worked, it absolutely worked. This, this works. This actually works. This is an actual reusable heavy booster but exception we still haven't gone to space so maximum po power we're just going straight at it but look uh, right now we are still just planted right in the middle of the nav ball we haven't deviated at all so so far this thing is doing amazing amazingly well Okay, and we are breaking into space. We are we are in the stratosphere right now. And look at Wow. Yeah, I'm just mesmerized. This thing looks so oh. I have no words. I have no words. I have no words. Like this just looks complicated. And it looks amazing. So this is gonna be the exoskeleton. I mean, no. So this is gonna be the skeleton of the rock. This is gonna be the interior, the insides, the guts of the heavy. And what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna cover it up, and then we're gonna attempt a payload delivery. We're gonna send something into space with this monstrosity. And I'm thinking of sending an even larger space station. <laughs> 